that's looking more and more likely that we're going to see a substantial winter storm across uh, much of the area. We did issue some winter storm watches this afternoon, stretching across many of the western mountains, stretching across uh, the Wind River Basin, Riverton, includes Casper up toward Buffalo and also the Cody area. If you want to start at end times, this will be a long-lived storm system, a lot of different start and end times on this. Go to our website, weather.gov slash RIW to look at these, so I'll be talking for 10 minutes and I want to keep this as short as possible. Uh, as we time out the impacts, now for tomorrow, that looks like a pretty nice day across most of the area. Mainly dry, temperatures about where they should be this time of year. There will be some snow breaking out in the west during the nighttime hours, but it should hold off until after sunset with any substantial snow probably holding off until after about midnight. Things start going downhill on Monday, rain and snow spreading from uh, northwest to southeast. Now most of the lower elevations to the east of the divide, they should stay mainly uh, rain through the daylight hours at least, except for maybe around Cody, they could turn over pretty quickly. Now conditions will worsen as we head through the nighttime hours and those temperatures drop for most areas. But maybe not the extreme east though, places like Casper may take a little while to change over. Now Tuesday and especially Tuesday night, that looks to be the heart of the storm and the worst conditions. Be it much colder that day, snow or rain changing over to snow, becoming windy. There will be some difficult travel conditions. I can't talk about road closures yet because the precipitation hasn't fallen yet. But Tuesday and Tuesday night, many parts of the state, travel is not going to be a lot of fun. As we head toward Wednesday, things will start improving. Snow will already be over for a lot of areas and ending from west to east. The Trona and Johnson counties will see the snow linger the longest, though, as the storm moves away to the north and east. Now we take a look at uh, the high temperature change. Temperatures will be fall. Not going to fall today. Don't want to do that. Don't want to hurt my back. Anyway, you can see temperatures. Uh, this is from uh, the highs on Sunday compared to the highs on Tuesday. Anywhere from about 20 to 30 degrees colder across much of the area, so it will be a slap to the face, shock to the system as well. Now, as far as confidence, very high confidence. It's going to be colder. That's just about 100%. Uh, first measurable snow of the year in many of the lower elevations. Heavy snow very likely in the mountains. There, I wouldn't head up there if you don't have to. It's going to be really rough up there. Still have that low confidence though in the placement timing of the uh, heaviest snow, especially uh, those with those heavy snow bands. Have exactly when that's going to happen. The miles just can't pick that out this far out in advance. And also the exact change over times in the lower elevations as far as clock times. Now, as far as time is maximum impact, our first guess about this, areas in the west, the worst conditions will be Monday night, probably into the first part of Tuesday, then gradually improving through the day there. And uh, areas east of the divide, starting in the Bighorn Basin late Monday night into Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday night, probably the worst affected areas as far as effects there. And then it's gradually improving Wednesday with the last area to see improvement. Casper Buffalo as well as I-25, although you may not see a lot of impacts. It may stay rain until Tuesday afternoon there. Now, I know you're wondering how much snow we're going to get. Now, these are the initial snowfall I'm going to show you, but I want to tell you, take this with a grain of salt. This probably will change, so don't take this to the bank by any means. This is what we're initially thinking right now. You can see the highest amounts. Bighorn uh, Mountains could do really well out of this. Some places up there may pick up maybe one to two feet of snow. Casper Mountain could pick up over a foot up on top as well. As far as the lower elevations, uh, Cody could see a good amount of snow like this, about 6 to 12 inches there, as well as Thermopolis. So the wind's coming this way, it's going to upslope against the uh, higher terrain in this area. Also, uh, Wind River Basin doing pretty well, anywhere from about 4 to 8 inches around uh, Riverdale down to Lander. Not quite as much around Shoshone because you have downsloping off of the uh, Howell Creeks in this area. About 4 to 6 in the city of Casper, that'll go up pretty quickly as you go up the mountain. Uh, not quite as much across uh, the, big, the uh, Green River Basin, I should say, about 1 to 3 inches around Pinedale. 3 to 4 across uh, Air State 80, and across the west, 4 to 6 around Lake Yellowstone. Not a lot in Jackson, those winds not really favorable for you, but could be several inches of snow up in the Tetons. And I point out some resources here for weather is our website, weather.gov slash RAW. For the road conditions, www.wireroad.info. You want to call them on the phone, 511 in state. You're coming from out of state, 188 Wild Road. And I want to emphasize don't call us for road conditions. These are the places to go. You get it right from the source here. If you want to check out the webcam, see what the roads are like anywhere you're traveling, just go to our website, click on local programs, and then webcams by route. Be safe, everybody, and enjoy the rest of your weekend.